Hi, I'm Eric. I'm going to be teaching Evan how to play the recorder today. We're going to be learning the song Hot Cross Buns. So we'll start off by uh, learning the parts of the recorder. So you just hold it in your hand. Up here we have the mouthpiece. These holes are called the tone holes. And you have one on the back for your thumb. You can turn it over and look at that. Make sure your thumb covers that during uh, most of these songs that you play on here. <clears throat> Come down here's the body of it, and have your bell. Alright? And we'll go in the proper way of holding the recorder. First, your left hand will be on top. Alright? So you take your thumb, hold your, hold your recorder out. Take your thumb and place it on the back, tone hold. Bring it up. Then you're going to put your index finger on the top hole, your middle finger on the second hole, and your ring finger on the third hole. Your pinky is going to be loose. It's not going to touch. And with your right hand, your index finger is going to be on the on your fourth hole, middle finger on the next, ring, then pinky. And that's how you hold the recorder. And then we go into the proper way of sitting while playing the recorder. Go to the front of your chair. Come to the very front of your chair. Feet flat on the ground. Posture is straight up and down. Then you take your recorder, hold it out in front of you. Then you just bring it up to your lips, like this, at a 45 degree angle. Just imitating this right here. Good. You can bring it down a little bit. And you do that right there. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to introduce notes, the notes that are in hot cross buns. So, first we're going to learn the G. Alright, you're going to take your first three fingers and hold them down. You're, these fingers are not going to be on. They're going to be loose. Okay? So it's going to be your first finger down, your second finger down, and your third finger down with your left hand. And your thumb on the tongue hole. And with your other hand, you're just going to support it with your thumb on the back. You're just going to support it with your thumb on the back. But you're not going to cover the holes. You're just going to let it sit on it. Right? You can let your other fingers sit over top, but not covering up the holes. Okay? Alrighty. And whenever you put this to your mouth and you blow a solid straight tone straight through the mouthpiece, all the way straight through the recorder. So go and try that. Now remember your uh, posture while playing. We'll sit straight up, head straight up, and Awesome, that's your G. Okay. Next we're going to learn the A. That's simply lifting up your next finger, your bottom finger. Lifting that up gives you an A. So go ahead and play that. Play, uh, play your G and then play your A. You're going to leave your thumb on the tone hole. You're just simply lifting up your bottom finger. And now play. Now play G and A. Make sure your thumb's on the tone hole. Make sure your thumb is over the tone hole in the back. Completely over it. Alright, try that again. Make sure your fingers are completely covering the holes. Alright? So it's G, then A. Just lifting one up. Alrighty, try that again. See, your, um, this finger is not completely covering that hole. Make sure it's the center of each finger that's on the hole. There we go. That's your A. And next we go to a B. Simply lifting up one more finger. Yep. It's just your thumb and your index finger on them. But you got to make sure the hole's covered. So go G, A, B. There you go. And that's your, that's your notes that you'll learn for hot cross buttons, okay?